Greetings YouTube, Marvin Ford with Great American Survival. This week we're doing a special review of the Jansport 20 liter Cinder backpack. If you guys followed me, um, have been following me for a little while, I did a uh, giveaway and I gave away a couple of um, stainless steel tumblers and some beach towels and I gave away one of these backpacks. I liked it so much, I hated giving it away, so I got myself one. I've enjoyed it. I carried it on this last week's camp, um, outing. We went to a um, hot air balloon festival and I carried it as my day pack. Um, we'll go to a quick um, intro and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, as I said, we're doing a review of this. Jansport Cinder 20 liter backpack. This is a really cool little day pack. Um, it's got a lot of cool perks to it. It's just different. Um, it has a body zipper that comes around. It's double zip, got a double zipper, but it goes up the, the length of it. And it's a top, you can unzip just part of it, and it would just be a top load design. But it's, as you see, it's a pretty big bag. Um, it says 1,220 cubic inches of storage, which is pretty cool. And um, what I like about it is it's got this inside front pouch, so it's like quick access. But on the back side, if you see here, it's got a hydration sleeve. That, you know, so you put your hydration your hydration bladder in here, run the hose up through the top, and comes out a little slit over here on the side, and um, comes out. Then it runs down. There's um, management sleeve, you know, little little catches for it to go through to run it down this down this um, shoulder straps. Really a cool backpack, guys. It really is. Like I said, it does have a double zipper. Goes up and over. And then um, it also has a front pocket, which um, this I like really well for carrying um, when we were at the, at the we were at a day at a festival. And um, I don't like having my, when you're in huge crowds, um, I don't like having my wallet in my pocket unless it's in my you know, cargo pocket, then it's not as bad, but I also like, I generally like to carry a firearm, so I like to, I don't want all this stuff in my pocket if I'm carrying my firearm in my pocket. So, with that being said, carried my phone over here, because I don't like, ha I'm, I, when I'm at something like that, other than taking pictures, that's the only reason why I really have my phone with me. And um, other things, you know, the normal stuff you're going to carry. We carried a bunch of stuff. Carried my little first aid kit that I always carry with me, and um, beach towel, uh, my hat, sunglasses, things like that. Just always stayed in. I've got some pictures I'll show you uh, from the festival. We'll post those throughout the video, or maybe at the end. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. But um, everything about this bag is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little bag. It does have some molly webbing on the front. See, so you can attach some gear to it. It's got some over here. It's got some more hook and loops over here, over here. Um, it's got some hanging that hangs down off the bottom. The straps are like a reinforced mesh, real easy to adjust, and they have these finger loops in the straps to adjust. I like that when I was standing there with it on, I had just had stand, stood there because I don't want to hang with my hands down and I don't put my hands in my pockets. So my thumbs were just hooked in those little loops, just dangling. It was different, but it's a cool bag. I like the bag. Uh, it does have a handle on the on the when you're for when you're not wearing it over your shoulders, you can hold it in your hand. And it's it's not super durable, but it's not cheesy. It's not gonna. I don't. I see the bag breaking before the strap does. Um, like I said, there's the little place for the hydration bladder hose to come out of. And um, it's made of 210 polyester ripstop. Pretty cool stuff. It is considered a unisex bag. You know, doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl. You know, it only weighs 9.6 ounces. It packs down to nothing. I mean, it really does. I mean, it packs down to a small, you know, nothing. Not really big, not, doesn't fold down, not, not very big when it's all collapsed. Um, does have in, in, multiple bag uh, pockets inside. Um, what else? I like I like a lot of things about this. It's just a nice bag, and especially for what it is. Um, I mean, it's not a high end bag. It's not, but it's not one of those little sling bags that you know with the ropes. You know, the little rope zipper uh, cinch bag. 
it's not like that either but it it just has a lot of purposes um, I've enjoyed having it um, and it's just useful and it's you know it's one you can stick in your day like I had this in my my regular day bag that I carry everywhere I had it stuck in one of the side pouches and when we were getting ready to leave I didn't want to carry my big bag around the festival so I carried this I took a few things out, put them in this, uh, our walkie-talkies, things like that. I had a place having the shoulder straps, just clip my walkie-talkie. We don't rely on um, cell phones when we're on a, at a festival like that. We always have our walkie-talkies on us two ways, just so we can talk. It's a lot easier than trying to get a signal, especially when you're in a situation where you might not have a cell signal. Um, you use your two ways, and um, we also do it whenever we're in separate cars, like when we were going to the festival, because you don't always get to park together. You know, sometimes you end up having to park separately because you can't always find a park, parking spots together. We had one of our cars was a handicapped car because we had um, some family members with us that needed it. And uh, having your radios on you just makes it where you get to communicate. That's my tip of the week. I'd say make sure you have a set of two ways, especially if you're in a family with more than with the, any children. Makes it where if you, you're getting separated, taking one to the bathroom or whatever, makes it where you're not having to rely on your phone. Your phone is not necessarily your best friend. You need to understand that that technology is limited, especially when you're talking about being in a mountain valley like where we were. We didn't have cell signals very often. I mean, it was hit or miss. If we didn't have our radios, it would have been an issue. We never even looked at them. We used our phones to take pictures. That was about it. Had a great weekend. This bag was really cool to carry. I enjoyed it. If you're new to our channel, subscribe over there in that corner. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Comment below and tell me what you guys think. Check one of these out. You won't regret it. I picked mine up and um, a friend of mine works for a, I wouldn't say a, well, he works for a um, retail outlet. So I went to that store and got the first one. Then I went back and got another one. All right, guys. Hope everybody's having a great week. Enjoy your weekend. Prepare for the week ahead. Get out there. Be prepared and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll talk to you later. Greetings YouTube, Marvin Ford with Great American Survival. This week we're doing a special review of the Jansport 20 liter Cinder backpack. If you guys followed me, um, have been following me for a little while, I did a uh, giveaway and I gave away a couple of um, stainless steel tumblers and some beach towels and I gave away one of these backpacks. I liked it so much, I hated giving it away, so I got myself one. I've enjoyed it, I carried it on this last week's camp, um, outing, we went to a um, Hot Air Balloon Festival, and I carried it as my day pack. Um, we'll go to a quick um, intro, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 